Country Living, Chapter 2, Avoiding Labor Conflicts In Disregard of the Decalogue These unions are one of the signs of the last days. Men are binding up in bundles ready to be burned. They may be church members, but while they belong to these unions, they cannot possibly keep the commandments of God. For to belong to these unions means to disregard the entire Decalogue. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. These words sum up the whole duty of man. They mean the consecration of the whole being, body, soul, and spirit to God's service. How can men obey these words and at the same time pledge themselves to support that which deprives their neighbors of freedom of action? And how can men obey these words and form combinations that rob the poor classes of the advantages which justly belongs to them, preventing them from buying or selling except under certain conditions? Letter 26, 1903 Unions that are formed or shall be formed Those who claim to be the children of God are in no case to bind up with the labor unions that are formed or that shall be formed. This the Lord forbids. Cannot those who study the prophecies see and understand what is before us? Letter 201, 1902